Hi everyone. So today we're going to be talking about virtual private networks. So what is a virtual private network or VPN? So essentially a VPN extends a private network across a public network and enables users to send and receive data across a shared or public network as if their computing devices were directly connected to the network. So I'd like you to imagine for a moment, and I've got a network here as you can see on my screen, I'd like you to imagine that we're at site one and we wish to communicate with site three across here. Now you'll notice here that in order to get to site three we have to travel through site two and I want you to imagine that we don't control this site at all. Okay so essentially site two is an untrusted network. So what would per, per, uh, so essentially what would what would stop someone on site two looking at our traffic as our traffic passes across this network? Okay. Well, essentially nothing. Um, you know they could have a packet sniffer. They could be watching the traffic as it goes through router two and onwards onto router three. So. Basically, a VPN can encrypt our traffic, hide our IP address, and can help protect our privacy online. Um, VPNs are also used by millions of remote users around the world to safely and securely access corporate resources. So, how do they work essentially? Well, it's, really, we've got to we've got to think about confidentiality and integrity, and in order to enforce confidentiality, we've got to encrypt our data. So essentially what we'll be doing is we will we'll want to scramble any data we're sending across to the other site so that if, for example, someone at site two wished to see that data, well, they basically see scrambled data and they wouldn't be able to see it properly. So this is the idea of encryption. Also, we want to ensure integrity of our data. And you might say, well, how can we do that? we can use a process called hashing. And this, this essentially means that we use uh, integrity checking provided through hashing to verify the data has not been manipulated during transit across the network. So in other words, if I send traffic from this site one across to site three, I want to ensure I need a way to check to ensure that every single letter that was sent is exactly what's received at site three. And hashing gives us this ability. Another important benefit of VPN use is authentication. So for example, if I'm sending information from R1 to R3, R3 really needs to know that indeed it was R1 that sent the traffic. And what we'll do is we'll establish what's called a um, appears. So basically R1 and R3 will become two peers and they'll, they'll create what's called a tunnel between them. So there's actually no connection here as you can see. There's no actual physical connection between R1 and R3. We're actually going over this essentially public network because we don't, as we mentioned at the start, we don't own this network. So what we'll be wanting to do is we want to authenticate the peer. So at R3, it will want to authenticate or want to say, this indeed was the person that sent basically this traffic. And there's a couple of different ways we could do that. We'll see that we could do it through what's called pre-shared keys in, in a way that I can set a password here and I can set the same password here and we can check. And these would be kept secret between these two VPN peers. Or we could use what's called private key pairs, okay? And this is using what's called public key cryptography. So a couple of different ways we could do that. So what we're going to be doing in this exercise, guys, is the whole idea of this exercise is to create a site-to-site -site VPN between site one and site three. And how we're going to do this is we're going to use what's called IPsec. Okay, and essentially what IPsec is, it's a collection of protocols and algorithms that are used to protect IP packets at the OSI layer three. Okay, and this is where it got the name IPsec. Okay, it's, it stands for IP Protocol Security. Um, and it's used for 
basically site-to-site -site VPNs, and it's also used for remote access VPNs. Today, we're just gonna be concentrating on site-to-site -site VPNs, and as you can see down the bottom here, I've got a number of steps that we use to actually configure and verify that we can create this site-to-site -site VPN, and I'd like you to join me in the next video where we're gonna get started with this process. Okay, hope to see you then. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.